and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. I am back in Russia in my hotel room and I cannot begin to tell you how long. I mean, we've got a saying in uh, England, especially in London, where we say it's a long thing. This has been the eternal long thing. Had to go back to England for one day. Um, just to sort my visa out, which uh, thankfully got that sorted out um, because I've got to do some stuff for ITV after the Belgium game. Um, I needed a working visa and not just fan ID for that. So I've gone back, sorted it out, um, landed back in uh, Moscow last night and then had to take, because I missed my uh, connection flights and stuff like that, and all the other flights come in to uh, Nizhny, which is where I am now, um, all of those were fully booked. The train was fully booked. So I had to take an Uber. Sorry, black cab drivers, but I am abroad. I'm allowed this one, right? And I had to take that from Moscow to Nizhny. Now, it was a seven-hour drive. <laughs> I'll tell you. Respect due to my taxi driver still, because how he kept awake all that time, I don't know. I mean, I fell asleep, woke up, fell asleep. Uh, we got stopped by the police along the way. Ah, uh, it was painful, but made it here in the end to the city of Nizhny. I haven't even been out yet. I'll come back. I've crashed out. I'm still in my hotel room, but we got to do transfer daily. We're going to be out and about later on, and um, it should be great. Now, I know there's a lot of controversy surrounding one of our players, Granit Xhaka, also Shakiri of uh, Stoke. Um, of course, Switzerland got that massive win last night over here in Russia, um, where they beat Serbia. And Granit Xhaka scored a brilliant goal in the game, but he's been heavily criticised for his celebration. He'd done like an Eagles celebration. Uh, if you know the history of it, uh, his dad's uh, Albanian descent. Of course, there was the war in Serbia where his dad apparently was in prison for three years. And it was a bit of a political gesture, um, what Granit Xhaka did. And he could find himself in trouble over it. But it was just good to see one of our Arsenal players you know, really lighting up the uh, World Cup. It's been a bit quiet for our players so far. Um, so it's great to see Granit Xhaka um, doing so well. And hopefully Meza Ozil um, can step up his game um, when he plays later on for Germany. Now, transfer-wise, of course, the big one that's going around at the past couple of days has all been about Eva Benega of Sevilla. Will he or will he not come to Arsenal? Now, there's been so many different reports on this one. Um, one of the reports said that Benega's representatives were in London on Thursday talking to Arsenal and there's a lot of outlets saying that the talks were very, very positive. However, then you read other reports coming out of different people from Spain that say that Eva Benega's um, family don't want to leave Spain. They love it in Sevilla and they want to stay in Sevilla. And, um, of course, uh, what we've read in the past is that... Uh, Eva Benega's a real family guy and his, his decisions are very much guided by his family. Um, then there's other reports saying that um, Sevilla are looking to get rid of um, Eva Benega, cash in on him, and are already looking at replacements. They're looking at uh, Mikel Marino of Newcastle, and um, Sevilla see him as uh, the long term replacement for Eva Benega should Eva Benega leave to go um, abroad. Now, it's a real merry-go-round at the moment. Of course, Eva Benega has been, he's been over here um, for Argentina at the World Cup. Um, Argentina handed a lifeline yesterday uh, when uh, Nigeria um, beat Iceland. Uh, well done to Iwobi, even though you didn't really figure in the game. So, Benega is going to be out here for a little while longer and I'm sure he's concentrating on what's going on at the World Cup. But will Benega come in at Arsenal? Is that the player that Arsenal are looking for in the midfield area, that creative spark? That could be the sort of replacement for a Jack Wilshire, Santi Cazorla. This one's going to run and run. But different stories coming out left, right and centre regarding Eva Benega. Now, Mexico play today and Arsenal been looking at one of these Mexican players. Goes by the name of uh, Miguel Leon. Uh, again, another Sevilla player. Um, well, I was not exactly a Sevilla player. He was playing for Sevilla last season on loan from Porto. Now, Spanish publications over there are saying that Arsenal have made contact um, with Porto, whose actual club that he actually um, holds his registration with, um, about a £5 million deal for Miguel Leon. Um, 
I was chatting to um, some Mexicans over on the plane uh, yesterday when I was uh, coming back to Russia. I mean, the Mexicans are everywhere. The guy, actually, the guy said to me, there's 60,000 Mexicans have made the trip um, to Russia. So it's been a real invasion. When you compare that to the fact that at the first England game, um, there was reportedly just over 2,000. I mean, 60,000. They are everywhere. But I was asking him about Leon. I was saying, you know, we've been linked with this guy. What's he like? He said, yeah, he's a good player. Um, he's a little bit surprised because he's starting to get a bit older, but he is a good player. Plays very well for Mexico. But he was identifying to me about three other players um, that play for Mexico that he thinks would be much better for Arsenal, much younger. Um, the players that he was talking about, they're also being targeted by teams like Real Madrid, Barcelona. So prices will be higher for those guys. But Leon, certainly a, um, a guy apparently that Arsenal are looking at I'm not too sure about this link. Um, a lot of it... You see, you see a lot of these things pop up the day of certain countries' games. So Mexico are playing today. All of a sudden, there's rumours about Mexicans. You know what I mean? I see the pattern in it. Um, I don't really see a lot in this one, but, um, you know, it's, it's floating around today about Leon. Um, there's also another very strong link to Mehdi Benesha, who looks like he's definitely going to be on his way out of Juventus. Um, of course, he's uh, been playing for Morocco over here in the World Cup. Morocco have been eliminated, so we are going to get to find out what the future is going to hold for Mehdi Benesha. 31. Arsenal were after him about three, four years ago. They didn't get him. He ended up going to Juventus. He's a very good defender, very strong, um, combative just the type of guy you want, really, um, as a centre-back. Um, and he's got a fair bit of skill as well. He's a top centre-back. However, it's the age. 31, and that is quite old. We're already buying um, Socrates, who's 29. You know, <laughs> looking at Medi Benesha, that you know, Lischsteiner as well, 34. We'd be getting a real ageing team if we if we uh, bring in Medi Benesha. But the links are still out there. Um, he looks like he's definitely going to go. He was asked about his future and he said, listen, it's going to be decided um, once I get back from the World Cup. But, you know, I have to think about my future. I'm 31 now. Um, could he end up at Arsenal? More likely that he's probably going to end up going back to France um, where he was playing before um, with Marseille. Marseille seemed to be really, really interested in him. But Mehdi Benesha, those links uh, continue today for the um, Moroccan hard man. Now, what about this one? I spoke about this one just before the transfer window started as a possibility for Arsenal. It's gone very quiet on this guy, and that's Max Meyer. Um, the German, he's not in the German squad, but he plays for um, Schalke. Uh, Schalke actually um, suspended him towards the end of the season because there was so much transfer speculation going on around him. He's available on a free transfer. Of course, um, still young, only 22 um, a very, very talented midfielder indeed. He can kind of play in any of those sort of midfield slots. He can play um, as a sort of central midfielder, traditional central midfielder. He can play as a defensive midfielder. He can play as a sort of boxer box type midfielder. He's a really talented player. Now, it did look like he was set to move to Hoffenheim um, over there in Germany. It looked like it was all but done from Schalke on a free, but that fell through. Um, then there's been a lot of talk about AC Milan um, wanting to get Max Meyer and, uh, you know, looking at coming in to get him. However, that's not been done yet. Should this be a player that Arsenal should be moving for? We were interested in him before. Uh, we were interested in him even before when even when Arsene Wenger was there. Will Arsenal reunite their interest in him? He's free. He's available on a free. And this is why I'm surprised that Arsenal's not sort of reignited their interest on him. Um... AC Milan look like they're the favourites, but could Arsenal be back in for the very talented Max Meyer from Schalke? Um, wait, let's wait and see. And uh, my pick today of players that uh, played yesterday, I actually didn't get a chance to do this yesterday, so I'm going to pick a player that played from the night before um, rather than yesterday's games, and that is Ivan Rakitic of Barcelona and Croatia. He scored in the game. He was brilliant in the game against Argentina. Um, and why don't Arsenal try and make a cheeky bid for this guy? I know he's at Barcelona. He didn't have the happiest of times last year at Barcelona. Didn't always start. He's 30 now. Um, he'll be wanting to be playing football week in, week out. 
The sticking point, of course, will be we've got no Champions League football. That is a big problem for Arsenal right now when we're trying to move in for some of these uh, bigger players. But as I said, Rakitic, he wasn't a regular starter for Barcelona last season. He has been in the past. Um, and, of course, with people like Coutinho there now, um, he may be looking at his future. And he's got bags of ability. He'd be brilliant in Arsenal's midfield. Just what they need. I know the age 30. And I know I keep going on about us getting older players. But for me, he will be some real quality in the middle of the park. Why don't Arsenal try and make a move for Ivan Rakitic of Barcelona? It can make a move, you know. Don't mean in a game, but try. Um, what do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to check out all of our coverage over here in the World Cup. Of course, tomorrow England are playing here in Nizhny. We're going to have great coverage of all of that. Um, and we're going to be out and about today uh, meeting all the fans. So make sure you check it out. Thanks for watching the show today and we'll be back tomorrow.